In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate the variance of a data set by using Microsoft Excel. I'll show you how to calculate the sample as well as the population variance. As always, if you find this content useful, please let me know by dropping a like on the video. And if you get stuck, please leave me a comment below. So let's get started. To begin with, let me quickly explain what the variance is. The variance is a measure of variability. Simply, it is calculated by taking the average of the squared deviations from the mean. The resulting value, known as variance, tells you the degree of spread in your data set. The larger this variance value, the more spread the data is in relation to the mean. Now let's jump into Excel and see how we can calculate the variance of a data set. Calculating the variance in Excel will differ slightly depending on whether you want to calculate the variance for a sample or a population. If you don't know the difference between a sample and a population, then I suggest you check out my other tutorial on the sample versus population clearly explained. I'll start by calculating the variance for a sample, which is probably what most people are interested in. As you can see, I already have some example data. For this, let's say we're interested in a rare fish called fish X. What I've done is measured the length of fish X and I have a random sample collected containing 15 different fish X fishes. To calculate the variance of a sample, in a new cell enter equals var.s, open bracket, then click and drag to highlight all of your sample data. After you've done this, close the bracket and then press the enter key. So the variance for my sample is 389.924. The units for the variance are in the same as the original measurement, squared. So my variance is in fact 389.924 centimeters squared. And if you're wondering, you can calculate the standard deviation from the variance by simply square rooting this answer. So in a new cell, I could enter equals SQRT, open bracket. Then I'll click on the cell containing my variance value. Then I will close the bracket and press the enter key. So the standard deviation for the sample is 19.7465 and the units for this would just be centimetres. So that's how you can calculate the variance of a sample. Let's now move on to calculating the variance of a population. I've got a slightly different data set now. This time I have the data for all of the fish X fishes in the world and in total there are 100. So what I have here is a population. Calculating the variance for the population involves a slightly different function compared with the variance for the sample. So in a new cell, I will enter equals var.p, open bracket. Then I will highlight all of my data again, and then I will close the bracket and then press the enter key. I get a result of 341.12, and again, the units of this are centimeters squared. And as before, we could then calculate the standard deviation by square rooting this variance value. And that brings me to the end of this tutorial. You now know how to calculate the variance of a sample as well as a population by using Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.